Walking with dinosaurs taking over the Palace of Auburn Hills. I'm actually here in what's known as the Voodoo Lounge with Chris and Ed, the real brains of the operation. These are the guys who make Toro down there come alive, to move so lifelike, if you will. Uh, Ed, why don't you tell us a little bit about what goes into this huge remote control, uh, what, what you guys are doing up here? Well, Chris is operating what we call a voodoo rig, and that controls the body of the dinosaur. So each one of those little points of articulation corresponds to a point of articulation on the dinosaur. And uh, every time he moves that, it sends a signal down to the dinosaur, and he mimics those movements. So Chris has full control of the head and the neck and the body and the tail. So he can make them move extremely realistically, and it's extremely subtle. It's amazing how large this character is and how subtle their movements can be. And then what I'm doing is I'm controlling the eyes from a joystick here. Also control the mouth, and then all the sounds are performed live. So I have a whole complement of roars and grunts and growls, something like this, and go. Incredible. And then there's another guy down there in the chassis who's a driver who actually drives around on stage. So it's a three-person job to make one dinosaur look like it's alive. This is a very cool job you guys have. What did you, did you go to school for dinosaur remote control operator? I know I'm joking, right? Oddly enough, there's no degree for that right now. <laughs> but uh, all of us have a degree and are done a degree, but experience in puppeteering. Okay. So we're all puppeteers by trade and these are just really extremely large, sophisticated puppets. How long have you been doing this and, and what's your favorite, I'm going to ask you, what's your favorite uh, guy or gal is to control. This is like choosing my favorite child. Um, I, you know what? I do like Toro too, simply because he's very expressive and he's out there for a long time and he's very imposing. So I do like that. And he's got cool sounds like this. Oh, he looks like he's shaking his hiney down yes. there. It brings out the eight-year-old in me. Oh. So I like that part. I like that part a lot. But how long? How long does it take to get this good at what you're doing? Thank you for calling us good. I appreciate that. But um, you know what? We, like I said, we have a background in puppetry, so we had a had a sort of an idea of about movement and character and things like that. Then we trained for about a month in this specific show, training with each other, training with the choreography and uh, the directors, and getting the show down pretty tight and pretty well choreographed. Chris, you're up here, and you can see the fans' faces firsthand. What what are you, some of the expressions? What are some of the reactions you get? Uh, the reactions from kids are fantastic. Watching the audience react to the different dinosaurs as they come out, Brax, for example, and Steg, you'll often hear them saying, oh, there's Steg, or there's <laughs> Anki. And, um, and quite often when the Brax lean out and look out over the audience, there's just waves and looks of sheer wonder and delight. So it's, it's quite amazing and quite... Um, fantastic to watch those reactions. Yeah, I think I was like a kid when I first walked in here today. Walking with Dinosaurs is at the Palace of Auburn Hills tonight through Sunday. You can find out ticket prices and times for shows on our website, myfoxdetroit.com. Reporting from the Palace of Auburn Hills, Amy Andrews, back to you guys.